Want to automate your document processing in Copilot Studio? No coding needed? Let me show you how to install, configure, and test the Document Processor Managed Agent in just a few steps. Let's dive in. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the Document Processor Managed Agent in Copilot Studio, covering everything from installation to configuration, along with a live demo. As I explained in my previous video, Microsoft recently launched a couple of managed agents like Document Processor, Financial Reconciliation, Personalized Shopping, Store Operation, and Variance Analysis. As of today, all these are in preview mode. And as of now, this is the list of managed agents in a series of managed agent tutorials. This is my first video. I will create a separate video for each of these managed agents shown here. So now let's get started with how to install this document processor agent. A managed agent works differently. You don't need to create it. You just need to install and configure it. Everything is prepackaged. You have to install this agent and you need to configure it. As everything is prepackaged, your agent will be working. Now let's click on this document processor agent. The document processor agent installation panel opens. You need to click the install button. Let's click on this button. It will walk me through the installation process. This step takes a couple of seconds to set up, so you need to be patient. Installation is going on. All my connections are in green ticks. Here we could see the connection from Microsoft Dataverse, Copilot Studio, and Power Apps for admin. My setup is fine with the connection. Now click on the next button. This is the actual process in the installation steps. Here, all the background configuration happens. This will take a couple of minutes, so you need to be patient. Behind the scenes, a lot of things are happening. It will create a solution file in my Power Platform environment, and in that solution, we'll have all required objects like agents, AI models, cloud flows, power apps, Dataverse tables, and much more. So in order to process your document, Whatever the Power Platform objects are needed, this will install. It's setting the things up. This will take a couple of minutes. While it is installing, you may take a cup of coffee for your relaxation. Let's see how much time it takes. Let me see what is happening in the background. I should see two solution files there. Document Processor Core and Document Processor Preview. Let me refresh this page. Yes, I could see the two new solutions here. This is Document Processor Core. This is Document Processor Preview, which is empty. Nothing is there in this. And here in the core solution only, you'll have all the flows, apps, models, tables, agents, and other stuff. Let's open the core solution. You can see a message here. You cannot directly edit the objects within a managed solution. If the managed properties for solution objects are set to allow customization, you can edit them from another unmanaged solution. Basically, it's saying this is a managed solution. You cannot edit it directly from here. So here you see all the objects like agent components, agents, AI models, apps, then cloud flows, and Dataverse tables, environment variables, connection references, and much more you can see here. Right. Let's switch back to the installation wizard. You'll see this error message. You can ignore it. Your agent will work. You can see the message document processor preview is ready to use. This one I just installed. I'll just click on this open link. I need to configure a couple of things now. Now, my document processor configuration wizard is opening. This will ask me to configure the sample documents, rules, and triggered events. I see a message. Welcome to the document processor configuration experience. Upload a document to get started. So I'll just upload a sample invoice document here. Here is my sample invoice PDF document. This is the invoice document I created just for the demo example. Content in the invoice is not real. Uploaded my demo invoice document. My document is being processed. 
Basically, this is my invoice document I have. Uploaded. It has the company address and the billing details and other invoice-related metadata. My document processor agent extracted the below fields from my invoice document automatically, like company name, company address, GST, invoice number, invoice date, invoice amount, etc. So these are the metadata I can extract from this document. Now I'll just click on the next button. And you see out of the box, these two rules are set. So basically you can set your rules here, like the type of document it supports, what the date format will be, what the currency format will be, and much more. So if your invoice document doesn't follow and pass over the rules defined here, your document will not be processed. So basically the rules section handles the data validation before processing. I'm not enabling any rules here. However, while configuring this agent for your actual use case, it is recommended to handle the data validation rules. Even we can create a new rule as well, right? I'm not going to create a new rule here. Now I'll just click on the next button. This is the assign reviewer configuration screen. I just selected my email ID as an approver. This is my email ID. And here you can configure standard messages for document approval. I haven't configured any message here, right? Now click on this next button. Here is the trigger configuration screen. So basically there are three triggers here. When a new email arrives in share mailbox. So you can configure your share mailbox here and the mailbox name. So if any invoice document comes to your share mailbox, the document will be processed automatically. Then we have here, when a new email arrives to the configured email. Here I have configured my email ID. So if any invoice document comes to this email, that document will be processed. And the third one is when an item is created in SharePoint. This is not yet enabled and configurable as this agent is in preview mode. Hoping Microsoft will enable this trigger as well soon and we will be able to configure it. Now I will just click on this next button and I'll test the scenario. So if an email with an invoice attachment comes to this email, my document will be processed. Click on the next button. It is saving all my configurations. Congratulations. The configuration is complete. Your document processor is now set up and ready to go. You can start testing by triggering it according to your setup. Send an email with an attachment. Your extracted data will be saved in the Dataverse table. I'll just send an email with an invoice attachment. One more thing I must say. If you miss configuring your setup, you can configure it at any time from the chat panel configuration wizard. You'll have the option to run through your configuration wizard from the chat panel as well. Now I'll just send an email to myself with a sample invoice attachment. I'm just drafting my email with the insertion of a sample invoice attachment. Then I'm sending this email and we will see the magic. I received this email. Now I'll show you behind the scenes what happened. It will be very interesting. I'll take you there in the back end table. This is my solution file and let me open it. And here I have a table called data processing agent configuration. This table is created inside the solution during installation of the agent. So let me open this table. This is inside the managed solution. And one more table I will have, which is created outside of the solution. That starts with event. So let me search this table. Yes, this is the data processing event table. You can see here, all the extracted attributes of my submitted documents are stored here. You can show and hide the columns as per your need. Then let me show you the data from the document processing agent configuration table. This is the table where I can see my document details. Now I'll ask something here in Copilot Studio chat. List out the details of my active documents. Let's see what I get. I got this data about my documents, which came from the back end table. Now I'll ask. Give me the details of the sample invoice document. 
Let me see what I get. It's being processed. Yes, I can see my invoice details, which I just sent through my email, right? And I could see all the metadata related to my invoice. That's really amazing. If you're finding this walkthrough helpful and learning something new about how to install and configure the document processor managed agent in Copilot Studio, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. One more thing I will share with you. We cannot delete managed agents from the Copilot Studio tool. You can see the delete option is disabled for this document processor agent. Here the delete option is disabled. You cannot delete it from here. However, you can delete the other standard Copilot Studio agents. We can see the delete option is enabled for this standard agent. So, in order to delete your managed agent, you need to delete the solution file from your Power Platform environment. For this demo to delete my document processor agent, I need to delete the document processor core and document processor preview solution file. Once I delete these two solution files, my document processor agent will be deleted from the Copilot Studio tool. And for more details on how managed agents work, refer to the Microsoft documentation shown here. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this demo and learn something new about the document processor managed agent in Copilot Studio. For more valuable tutorials on Copilot Studio, Power Platform, Power Automate, SharePoint, and Microsoft 365, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I've also created a dedicated playlist for you to explore Copilot Studio tutorials, from beginner to advanced, covering everything end to end. You'll find the playlist link in the description and the comment section below. Your support and appreciation really mean a lot. It keeps me motivated to bring you more real world tutorials and step by step guides. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.